Oh man, Sky, that is a big question. Do you mind if I put on my computer to read it to you, to read it to us, rather than me having to speak out all that? Hey, Lisa, I think you are the right person to ask this question. This will be a bit long one. I had a strange experience some years back, and I'm still not sure I can put it into the right perspective context. Maybe you can help me with that? Kind of hard to explain, but I will try my best. I was just walking on the street, in rather bad mood, nothing was out of the ordinary. Then suddenly, really hard to explain, it felt like everything around opened itself up, like I was experiencing totally a different demon tyrant or something, though everything looked usual. I was stoned and the only thought that was in my head was, people are not supposed to feel that, it was ground shuddering feeling not like any other. I felt like there was no dark corner in my soul left, as if everything was exposed to some invisible light or something. I felt an XIOS and blessed at the same time. This feeling was peaking for an hour or two, I went to meet with some friends, and as social interactions went I felt as if I started to fall back more into my usual self, though this time I saw the mechanics of how I was rejecting parts of myself, and how this rejection helped me from being happy and healthy. Next day I was my usual self, but I think this experience started some process of changes in me and I become quite different person over a couple of years actually, but without any effort, I didn't work on myself for anything like that, thought before that I spent years trying to improve myself. I also realized that my efforts of improving myself with different methods had nothing to do with this expirinc.it was really a blessing. Though it felt like spiritual experience, it was not like the stuff you talk about, enlightenment etc. I still feel like a usual person among other persons, not one with everything or anything like that. Can you put this experience in some contest for me? Maybe it's just a bunch of brain cells dying suddenly in my brain and this is how it feels like? Somewhere deep inside I really miss that feeling experience, but I know that I can't do anything to experience that. Also maybe worth mentioning for the full picture, in my younger years I had many experiences with psychotic substances and it was not like that at all. Thanks in advance. Just let me go back to this bit. Um, yeah, I don't, I can't be sure what happened to you. Like we can have all these different experiences and it's really hard to talk about for these different experiences. To me, I would put that in the category of having an awakening experience where you totally see that there is a light and love that's beyond you. And is you, is every part of you. And that is totally different from fixing the anxiety or fixing the bad mood or fixing the delusions of the person. It's beyond all of that. But I don't know if I can really contextualize it for you. Because I don't know what that experience was. It's a mystery. It's something that you're going to have to to live with and have experienced and know about and, and just give it up to God. I, would it help you if I did contextualize it better and put it into better language for you? And what is it that you're truly asking? Are you saying, is there anything that I can do to get there? Again? Or can you confirm, Lisa, that there's nothing I can do to get there again? I think on the human level, work on personal dynamics and expand yourself, like expand your knowledge, your ideas, your energy. And then this shift will happen when it happens. Like you can't control it and you can't grab hold of it because it's nothing to do with you. You is appearing in it. You can listen to this subject and that's really beautiful. And I would carry, recommend carrying on listening to this subject. But this idea of 
constantly trying to get to enlightenment or get to some sort of experience is simply ideas that pass and come and go in this freedom. And I wouldn't give them too much attention or experiences that you've had. I don't know if that helps. Thank you for your question. Hmm. I think I wasn't to believe that it was not some brain fart. <laughs> yeah, but like, I mean, people have said that to me that something happened in my brain. I don't even care. Like if it's like some short circuits, like there was this experiment they did on people's brains. And apparently when you stay with pain and you, you allow pain to arise rather than running away from it, there's a part in your brain that can break. And, um, and then it means that like the pain transforms into bliss. And I'm sure that I've most probably got that to an extent. Like what does it really matter if it's a brain fart or not? It doesn't matter to this moment. It only matters to someone that needs reassurance or someone that needs um, glitches on their belt or somebody that needs something. In this moment, it doesn't mean anything. We're here, this right now, and this is free. This is awake. This is present. But it definitely healed me on many levels. Yeah, I would say my, lots of my awakenings healed me instantaneously on lots of levels as well. Yeah, so that's great. But yeah, it's all mystery, this life. All we know is what's happening and then everything else is opinion. We never have fact. Thank you for your question.